Continuing from where we stopped at the last tutorial, I'm going to talk about the grandeur work causality test and the pairwise grandeur causality test. So let's move over to e-views. Recall our earlier results from the vector error correction estimates. So to obtain the causal relationship using the grandeur and world approach, we go to view, we maneuver to lag structure and we click on grandeur causality stroke block exogeneity test. So right away we have our results. You can see up here vec grandeur causality stroke block exogeneity world test. So here you can easily see the causal relationships. So let me remind you by saying that these are all short run causal relationships. Long run causal relationship, I explained in the last video, you observe that from the T statistics of the error correction term. So let's look at the first dependent variable PDI. The null hypothesis is that there is no grandeur causality against the alternative that the null is not true. And our rejection criteria is that we reject the null hypothesis if the p-value of the chi-square statistics is below 0.05. But from what we can see, the p-values here are well above 0.05. So we can easily conclude that PCE does not have any short-run causal relationship with PDI. Also, GDP does not have any causal effect in the short run on PDI. Jointly, both variables have no short run causal effect on PDI. Let's look at the PCE equation. Same conclusion from what we arrived at at the PDI equation. We can see here that the chi-square statistic is above 0.05, so we cannot reject the null. Same thing for GDP. The p-value of the chi-square statistics is above 0.05. So again, we conclude that there is no causal relationship in the short run. Now let's move over to the GDP equation. For PDI, we can easily conclude here that there is a short run causal relationship from PDI to GDP in the short run. While for PCE, there is no short run causal relationship from PCE to GDP. From the outcome of the VEC Granger causality test, the only significant causal relationship in the short run is from PDI to GDP. To achieve the direction of causality in the system, we go to quick. We click on group statistics. We maneuver to Granger causality test. And here we list all the variables in their log forms as usual. So all the variables are indicated. We click OK. I used one lag to estimate the vacuum, so I'm changing two to one, and I click OK. So you can see up here pairwise grandeur causality test, and these are all the null hypotheses that has been tested. Remember the rule of thumb? Let me show you the hypothesis again. Decision criteria, you reject the null hypothesis if the p-value of the F statistic is below 0.05. So here on the screen, you can see the results for the pairwise grandeur causality test and all the hypotheses, you can see they are all listed here. So let me interpret them one after the other. For the PCE and GDP relationship, the hypothesis that PCE does not grandeur cause PDI is rejected because the p-value of the F statistic is below 0.05. But we cannot reject the hypothesis that PDI does not grant your cause PCE. So here we have identified a unidirectional causal relationship. For the GDP and PDI relationship, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that there is no grandeur causality. So here we have identified an independent relationship. For the GDP and PC relationship, the p-values are well below 0.05. So we conclude that GDP grandeur causes PCE and PCE also grandeur causes GDP. So here we have identified a bidirectional causality. So this result is a mix of unidirectional causality, independent causality, and bidirectional causality. So to conclude this tutorial, the last thing we are going to do is to perform some diagnostics. We go to view, we click on residual, and we test for autocorrelation LM test. I used one lag throughout, so I indicate one lag. I click OK. So here we can see that there is no serial correlation looking at the 
uh, p-value of our results. You can see up here VEC residual serial correlation test. So this is good news. The errors are not serially correlated in the causal relationship. So next thing, let's look at normality test. We go to view, we go to residual test, we select normality test, and cholesterol covariance is indicated, we click OK. We can see from the results up here, VEC residual normality test divided into three sections. The first section is on skewiness, the second is on ketosis, the third is the Jacobera. So I'm only going to look at the Jacobera results because the Jacobera always factors in both skewiness and ketosis in its computation. So to the Jacobera results, we have three components. Each component is related to an equation in the VEX system. So for the first component, which is a PDI component, the residuals are normally distributed. For the second component, which is a PCE equation, we can see here the p-value is below 0 0.05, so we reject the hypothesis of normality, meaning that the errors are not normally distributed. While for the third component, which is that of the GDP equation, we cannot reject the uh, null hypothesis of normality. Overall, looking at the joint test, the null hypothesis of uh, normally distributed residuals is rejected. So again, in conclusion, short-run causal relationship is implied if the t-statistics of regressors are significant. You imply long-run relationship from the t-statistics of the error correction term, strong causal relationship is implied if the t-statistics of all the regressors and the error correction term are significant. Remember, each of these causality tests can serve as robustness or evidence of validation for one another. For further readings, please look up these textbooks and other journal articles out there. And if you have a simpler econometrics textbook, you can also look them up. It's been good having you around. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Scrunch Econometrics is dedicated to beginners and intermediate users. Share my videos and links to your friends and colleagues. Please don't go away. Stay with me. I have more interesting videos I'll be uploading very soon.